Jen, enrollment projections in the were they wrong in the past? Two to three years later, uh, Eversol's got modulars. Um, there are a couple things we could have done differently when we opened it. So, do you want to just talk a little bit about where we are with debt? Yes, we. You know, it's always nice to look in the rearview mirror and wish you could change things. The previous administration did the best they could with the information that they had. Um, as Dr. Marshallson said, no one um, knew that the projections for Jerome Village would go from 1,200 to almost 5,000 within just a few years. No one could have predicted how fast those homes would be built. And so um, DEP did open close to capacity. And so here we are, we have the modules there, modulars there to accommodate the students. Um, again, I think had we had had it been opened with a different number of students, we'd still be here with a growth challenge in the Northwest Quadrant. We would um, have students, we would have schools that were full in, in other areas. Um, there isn't a single one of our schools that is empty. There's no extra space, uh, so to speak. So in a lot of ways, we are really operating at maximum efficiency because most of our schools are at or near capacity. And then again, some are over. So again, I, I would love to go back five years and know what we know now, but we didn't. And all we can do is, is go forward with the projections and the information we have for the, for the coming years.